Throwing support behind COSI, local business leaders today announced that they will fund new exhibits if voters approve a levy. 13 ABC's Jennifer Gerald is live with why they're speaking out now. Jennifer. Business leaders say now is the time to speak out because if voters say yes, this if they don't say yes this time, there won't be another. They call themselves the Businesses for COSI Committee. Leaders of local businesses have come together to throw their support and money behind the Science Museum. Leaders from Owens Corning, BP, First Solar, and Sunlight say the museum is a learning tool for kids. Today, they announced if the levy gets back on the ballot and voters improve it, they would work to give the museum a new direction with new programs and exhibits. They say it's a valuable asset for the community and it's an excellent resource for recruiting new talent to the area. COSI is part of that fabric, that quality of life that allows us to track the kind of uh, talented and skilled and retain the kind of uh, talented and skilled workers that we need uh, to run our businesses. Tomorrow, Lucas County Commissioners will vote on whether or not to put the levy back on the November ballot. Reporting live in Toledo, Jennifer Gerald, 13 ABC Action News. On the agenda, the future of COSI. With talk of another COSI levy going before voters this November, the Shuttered Science Center is getting some much-needed support. A few local business owners are forming a committee, and Tim Miller joins us now live from uh, COSI. So, Tim, what can you tell us about this offer to make this levy, shall we say, uh, more appealing to the voters? Yeah, Jerry, they certainly need some more votes this time around. Those business leaders say that they are relying on their own credibility here in the community to lend some weight to their support for the COSI levy. And while these exhibits here at the uh, former museum remain silent tonight and are covered up by this black tarp here, those business leaders are saying they are going to promise new exhibits if voters get a chance to okay it. Now this afternoon, leaders from places like BP, Owens Corning, and New Technology Corporations, First Solar and Sunlight, join forces to push for the one-sixth mill levy. If it gets to the ballot and is passed, it would cost the owner of a $100,000 home about $5.21 a year. The business leaders say that is a very small price to pay for a science museum that they feel can spark an interest in the sciences and inspire careers to keep sharp minds here in Northwest Ohio. Now we will know tomorrow if the levy will be on the ballot. That is when Lucas County commissioners will vote, making the final decision. Owens Corning did support the last two levy campaigns financially. The reason we've gotten more visible and more involved this time, frankly, is because of the commitment that we've seen out of other companies in Toledo and the, the commitment for a new vision for what COSI can be. And those companies promise to also contribute their own monies to help COSI survive if it does indeed get to the ballot and is passed by voters. And those business leaders also say they will be going out campaigning for this levy if commissioners give them a chance tomorrow. We're live in downtown Toledo. Tim Miller, News 11.